Going on IG Vitality. That is an interesting ban. We were first phase ban. Might have some time to go through their replays. Oh. I watched most of the other teams. I went through like one or two replays per team, but <laughs> I actually realized I didn't go through any of uh, Vitality's yeah, games. I watched a little bit of their games on uh, against Snoopy, because uh, no, sorry, not against Snoopy, against LGD, because they actually beat LGD. Um, so that was th those are the only two games LGD's lost in the group stage at IGV, obviously knowing them very well, playing in the same region and seen as them. But IGV is kind of been middle of the pack as far as results go. They're really good against the Chinese teams, though. Yeah. They. They are local teams, but they don't do so well against yep. foreign teams. So this this match very important because IGV are currently fifth in the group and TNC are fourth in the group. Every so. match is important, Parker. Yeah, every game, every point. That's true, but when you're looking at fourth versus fifth and that kind of separation, it's mm. instantly if you're in the top four, you're in the winner bracket. You're in the top twelve of the tournament. You're guaranteed a lot more prize money. So, you know, finishing top four. Is very different to finishing fifth in your group. Yes, Parker, I understand. Money, important. I mean, money, is, <laughs> it, you, it's a lot easier to go far in the term if you sound the winner bracket. You, you, would you want to stand the lower bracket winner? Maybe, maybe EG wants to, you know. I don't think they EG always wants do to. well from the lower bracket. Yeah. Visage. Um, I know Super plays, uh, they like to play this hero on the position five a lot. Yep. Um, a bit similar to OG when they pick the hero. He's a position 5 that, I would say, the the one that scales the most. I, I can't think of any position 5 that scales very well. I agree. Well. I mean, maybe well, you could say Rubik, si Silencer could, I'd say. Uh, Rubik, yeah, Rubik Silencer. But I think but Visage scales more. Vi Visage is the best, I think. He farms faster than both of them, because he can just farm neutrals. Like, with Medallion, you farm neutrals, you can farm Ancients, you can push lanes without your hero being there. He's, He's like, only weaker at the start, but later on, he does a lot Yeah. in the game. He's got uh, some great level 10 talents, he gets 90 GPM. Uh, which <laughs> oh, is talking the about the GPM talent when you have a long game. <laughs> yeah, there we go. He also has a really good experience talent, but normally as a support you're going to be getting that PNC GPM. totally changing things up. I mean, Lina is still one of their staple picks, but they haven't like picked a hero a lot recently. Uh, did receive a slight nerf in her level 25 talent and the damage of Dragon Slave. Yep. Interesting that it's first two picked. Very good with the Nyx though. It used to be a very good pairing like Nyx, Lina, Sand King with the Lina. High burst, yeah. you know, good ganking potential. Like any like this two man gang pretty much kills like anything. Well like, there's some this. thoughts that it might be a, a support Lina. Oh yeah yeah yeah. That's Something right, that's right. Tiban right. plays a lot. Yeah, Tiban likes to you know he likes to play the position five where I I, I notice he his position five. He likes to have a lot of like push out. He likes Rubik, Lina, um, Silencer. These three heroes, they all have like push out. Because if you think about how TNC plays as a team, they will have like two catchers like Teams and uh, Sam, H. Sam H. Yeah, they will always be running around setting up. They are very team oriented players. They play around their team a lot for Cuckoo and Raven to shine. And in a lot of uh, instances where you have people camping lanes, you have people trying to kill, then you need someone else to take the role of pushing out the lanes, otherwise I'm the enemy, everyone's hiding, no one's shuffling out the lanes, I don't feel pressured to push out the lanes and no one's gonna die, you know, in, in that scenario. So when someone is pushing the lane, uh, say Cuckoo plus one, Cuckoo and T-Burn's hero pushing out the lanes, then it creates a lane pressure. And when you react to the lane, that's when it gives the opportunity to the gankers, you know, yep. Cook Sam H or teams to actually get a kill or two definitely a, a playstyle that suits TNC, because it's yeah. something he even used to do on the old NP, uh, which perhaps didn't suit that team as much, was he'd often take up quite a bit of farm as a 5 position player. And we'll see whether that's going to be the case, yeah. because uh, IG Vitality do ban Cuckoo's Tinker. He's absolutely and insanely the good on this hero. Yesterday they won, what, two games with Naga? Uh, they uh -huh. picked Naga in very, very like good scenarios where the enemy did not have... I think one game was against Secret, one game... I can't remember the other we game. We cast one it? of the games, right? It was against... No, we didn't We didn't cast the Naga. was that two days ago? We didn't cast, cast a Naga, Naga game versus Fnatic, wasn't and, it? And they had a game where they ran Naga support because Na they picked the Naga early. Ah. It was a, it was with Disruptor. They picked Naga early. And Naga was counter... I can't remember what the enemy picked, but they had some counter picks against Naga. And they just swapped the Naga to a support role and they won the game. They picked it against Fnatic when we cast it, right? TNC Fnatic? 
That was two days ago. I can't remember. remember. Too many games going on at the same time, but right now, IG Vitality going for the Centaur. This is one of a uh, staple hero for, like, uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, in July. Uh, yeah, in July. He plays this hero a lot. He used to play this hero a lot. And this hero is very good with uh, Visage because he has high burst with the stun, the hoof storm and the double edge. He charges up the soul assumption very quickly. So, and low cooldown hero. Like, you want to pair Visage with like low cooldown hero so that you can always constantly fight with your birds. Yep. That's what uh, the Visage wants to do. I wonder, does the damage you do to yourself count towards the soul assumption? Uh, I, I have don't no know. Clue. I'm a, I'm <laughs> I a dirty know. visage spammer, and I don't know. <laughs> I, don't um, <laughs> I don't. You know how many people play Centaur in pubs these days, so I can't really uh, speak I, to it. I used to play him a lot. The, you know the pre-nerf, like the sixty percent axe, and you have the the strong hood. Yeah, yeah. those two items got nerf, and he got uh, re re he got uh, armor reduction. Uh, I think he removed. He got he lost one armor from a. I can't remember which patch. Yep. I think it was plus one cooldown, maybe on his stun or something too. Mm. I can't remember exactly. Right, what. Overall, right now, uh, TNC chooses to go for the Sven. This is actually very, very likely that the Lina will be support because I, when I remember that they run Lina support, it mostly is go going to be a safe lane Sven. So the laning phase is very strong. Lina and Sven, very difficult for the off laner to, you know, to try and get farm, get experience because you're always under the threat of like in the threat of dying. You know, Lina, Sven, stun, yep. stun, slave. You're more or less going to die. Very strong lane, but then again, like a uh, position five Lina support, she does provide a lot of you know D push and kill power, but she doesn't provide too much catch if you don't have items. She gets the catch by farming a use, farming a shadow blade. That's how you get the catch. So he's not like a traditional, like in general, the position five hero. You are either a saver, Winter Wyvern, Dazzle, Oracle, like this kind of heroes, or you are a team fight specialist. You are a disruptor, you are a warlock, you are a silencer. Lina is none of those, but she's high burst. And wave wave push out. Yeah, she's quite similar to the the visage in that way because visage also doesn't really yeah, but visage function has as a save. Pretty good team fight, I'd say. Yeah, pretty good. Because I mean, so uh, pres her her damage in team fights and the stuns, she has a lot of disables. Yep. Oh. Troll warlord picked up for mm -hmm. IG vitality. Pretty good with their lineup, uh, I'd say. I, I like the troll centaur. It, it's like uh, when you have a centaur. For me, when I have a, when I'm playing centaur, I like my teammates to be like a face rushing hero so that I can abuse the stampede. We run in, stampede, I charge in, I stun someone, the carry runs in, a tanky carry. He can run in with me and just do the DPS, like do damage, kill someone. I, I like to pair him with uh, the troll. So with the oracle, it's more or less set in stone that the Lina is not a support, so our speculations are indeed <laughs> wrong. <laughs> wrong. So oracle, why oracle here? Let's see. Um, Oracle is good against Troll because of the disarm, I guess. And against their other heroes, they're all magic. Sand King, Visage, and Centaur. Very heavy magic, so Fate's Elite is very good against uh, those heroes. You mentioned um, just having a save. It seems like this is this is going to be the save. There's two scary in the shares and Sand King and Centaur. Yeah, but why Oracle over something else? Like the, 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 dazzle, the dazzle or whatever. Because he can just straight up block the damage. Like Dazzle, it's like, oh, you grave them, but... They're still gonna mm. die after. Yeah, the yeah I guess Oracle provides a lot more other utility. Yeah. The damage There's block. There's sustain and damage block, yeah. yeah. The, from the magic spells. Um, and whereas Winter Wyvern, Cold Embrace doesn't work because it's it's magic damage. There's a lot of spell damage other than the troll. Yeah. Um, so I feel like the Oracle does have yeah, save and damage block. So right now, decision making time. Is Nyx gonna be our off lane or Nyx is going to be just be our support on teams? Hmm. Usually we, when we talk about Nyx nowadays, usually the, usually the teams lean towards uh, support Nyx because he doesn't, like he doesn't need to. I mean, he can do a lot, but he has like a good amount of farm. Okay, oh. Cloudwork. So both very similar heroes, I guess. Quite still quite open. So I would say that it the decision will based on who will get a better laning face against a troll. I think it will be Cloudwork because he can cock the creeps and get some good experience. And yeah. I mean, Clockwork can always do that, and then Nyx is still the off lady, you know? Like, you just cog the first wave yeah, but, or two. Yeah, but, but then when you have cogs, you don't... I mean, like, when you roam, you're not as scary yep. compared to having battery assault. Because if you have battery assault, you run into some random, like, research. That, let's say he goes for the rune. He, he might be in danger of dying. He might, you know? Like, for whereas if you have cogs, you won't... I don't know, I, I think I kind of like the... Oh, yeah, I kind of like the Nyx on position 4 mode this game. Here we go. 
I like that the centaur in the sun. Look at the Sven's pose right now. He looks freaking badass. So they go for the puck. Uh, that's their. It's a very good draft, you know, by Vitality. It's a very good standard, like uh, a visage draft. You want to have like low cooldown heroes. Like this is the bit, the bit, main, main thing you want. The low cooldown heroes. You don't want too many very high uptime spells. So puck and centaur are always heroes that can fight very well with the visage. They have like decent team fight with Sand King, like AOE Sand King puck, and then they have Roshan. Roshan with troll and the birds medallion. I think overall very balanced draft from Vitality. Like when I always watch their their games, you know, they pick very solid heroes, very solid, like nothing too fancy. Heroes that can get the job done, get the win. Very clear plan of like Chinese team drafts. Um, very clear plan. Got tower push. Got Roshan. Decent in the lanes, not like say great, but overall like very balanced draft. Whereas you look at what TNC has, uh, much stronger lanes. Uh, they have more like single target, like more single target split map focus because they have a lot of wave clear. Like Sven, Lina have, has a lot of wave clear. Clockwork has some decent wave clear, so they're going to aim to play two very different games. Split the map and try to pick off and reach a point where they're strong enough yep. to kill you and, and take the fight. They have different styles of draft, but it's also like the style of draft that suits them as a team, I feel. Yeah. Like. It's not like yeah. one's actually better than the other. I think both teams come into this game with a strong draft, but a, and a draft that suits their team. Yeah. You want to Pick and a play style that, by default, your players when they play at their comf natural comfort zone, they're gonna do the right things. That's what you want in a team. If you pick something that oh this guy doesn't like to play like this, but your draft has to be played like this to win, and you're gonna more or less gonna end up in some problems in the game usually. Yep. So level one smoke. Let's see what other vision that teams place. Uh, With the mid ward. On. Uh, and then he ran into super. They might actually know the ward is there though, because if the Nyx is in this area and he still has one ops, Brutal it probably means that he ranked. he smoked through the. Smoked through right, the for for yeah. me, like in, in a game where I, I would think that uh, he he probably has two wards and he no, already he... placed one ward somewhere. And judging by the way that he came from, because he came from like slightly to the left and the smoke broke, yep. it might be in the mid lane. The problem is you don't know where that mid ward is. It could be on the right side. It could be in the mid. It could be on the top side of the mid lane. There's a lot of mid wards that are possible to. Yeah, put that down. that is true, but it, it still it gives you a, like a good idea. You, yeah, you, you are. Putting yourself in their shoes. You know there is a mid ward, it's just yeah. you don't know where. We'll see actually super it looks like with the sentry. Is he gonna ward. guess? Uh, he, I no sentry. I gave oh, it to Sand King. I was like, yeah, he had one. Oh he had one. Okay. He passed it to Sand King. Um, okay. oh, I thought he was gonna do a blind guess there. <laughs> <laughs> Once he saw Nyx had another ward, it may be worried that the bottom lane is gonna get warded or blocked or something. Uh, we talked oh. about who's gonna be the off lane, it will be the clockwork. Yep, good call here by T Burn. He just places a ward. He thinks that because he saw the centaur, I think that was a good read. He saw the centaur running up earlier and trying to like scout. And then after that, when the Sven came over, like, they were two standing on the cliff. He realized the centaur backed off. So that more or less is like, that guy might actually see both of us here. That's why he just went back. Yep. He placed the sentry there. So very good. Uh, very good read by t -Burn. Nice play. Puck gonna get out of his salve. Doesn't want his career being sniped, so he meets it. And we will see this Puck versus Lena mid matchup with. Uh, four positions could coming be in. quite annoying if they have mana. Yeah, he's gonna go mana, but okay. Doesn't want to use it on the sand king. No, no, like. on the puck. You wanna burn the puck? Yeah, bye. <laughs> That's like the nightmare. Like next position four, then you are this like four heroes: Puck, Lina, Od, uh, Queen of Pain. Maybe. Yeah, all these heroes. <laughs> the position four next comes to your face. Mana burn level one. You're like, ah, oh. painful stuff. You can't really mess with the Sand King all too much of this. Sand King also but is not too scary. He, he doesn't need to mess with Oh, so okay, maybe. That that might be a, oh, he missed the all. wave. Went to the north. Sakata oh. perhaps needed to wait to see which direction Cuckoo ran. That was like too uh, too too fast. He could have just... He had time to wait for the Lina to, to decide where she's going. Like to the left or to the... Cuckoo still though getting harassed very heavily. He had to salve and then he got quickly cancelled by Dogfights' as Baru Strike. Cuckoo will... Not be too happy about he this should one. Should be sending another. Yeah, he's yeah sending another cell. Is coming out. Takada has his salve, which will not be cancelled. So, it does feel like an edge to IGV uh, in this mid lane now. Uh, they oh, just need to get another mana burn. Oh, Ooh, but yes. Oh, the kill. Okay, that is actually dead. Lina. Dead lane indeed. Solo kill from Sakata. It's not the one v one mid champion paparazzi. It's his teammate finding the solo kill in the mid lane. So a sequence of uh, bad events for TNC, the self getting cancelled, and then 
before the second self arrives to the Lina, she got hit by the puck and went down. Yep. So uh, looking at the other lanes, Clockwork should be getting decent amount of experience because yeah, he's a Clockwork, you know, uh, getting cocks, the, the cocks to pull the wave back. Super gonna deny the two minute rune. Oh, he might be in trouble. Yeah, he might be dead here. Yeah. Oh, good body block. Oh, he has no 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 level two. Okay, no stun. Looks like uh, they're gonna get this kill still with the chase down. The right clicks is there. Zero armor on the visage enough. Meanwhile, top lane. Just keeping an eye on that one, they are going to kill the Centaur. He went for the Bounty Rune and then Theban kind of baited him in. And hmm, just considering... He has to go back to base, so... He was considering going and finding the uh, enemy Bounty Rune, but it was actually not uh, yeah, there. I think Centaur is okay. it's not too... It's not too bad for him since they had to use a lot of their mana. Like, when you die as an offlaner, you want to die when and force a lot of, like sometimes you just need to do what you need to do you know go up the lane try to get something done and then you die but they have to expand a lot of their mana maybe yet, let's say use a mango go back to base i think you're okay with that and then right now he gets some good space to get xp and levels because he understands that the oracle has to run back so he probably has like 30 seconds 40 seconds of time that he can be alone and feel safe here and igv I mean, in the meantime feels like oh we've already done what we needed to do to help the troll and troll is a very strong laner, he can 1v1 against the Clockwork, so we're gonna try and help our Centaur now. Yeah, level 2 Visage, this is really a very nice early power point to go and smoke up. They're gonna go onto the Sven with the Soul Assumption, oh, there's a Grave up. Chill should they need it, but the Fortune's End may be enough to get him away, he purged off the Grave Chill. Yeah, not, not, not enough damage as well, because Centaur was not level 3 yet. Yeah. Even Sanking was still level 1, it, uh, pointing Caustic yeah, may have been enough to that, get That move was very, very... Uh, optimistic for them to think yeah. that they can actually get the I kill. I thought they were going to just smoke on mid lane where, and go for Cuckoo, who was maybe the easier uh, kill. They don't see the Nyx, so they kind of think that the Nyx might... Because the Nyx has always been playing mid. It's like sometimes when you do this... Like this downside of doing this super early smoke. That's why when I talk about smokes, usually the first smoke, you want to do it at night, like around this time. Because the vision is smaller and you have a higher chance of success and a lot of places you can walk through because it's night time, they don't see you. Like even sometimes when the smoke breaks at night, they don't actually get the vision on you first. Yep. Yeah, yeah so it, it breaks, but they don't see you because of the so it's, That's why teams usually like to do that. But that smoke was not uh, a success for IGV, so they trying. They're still trying to play the top lane, though. They wanna. So basically, the game plan right now here is to leave the. I'm not sure I like it right now because I think that Visage should be <laughs> playing greedy really pool and try to maximize your, you know, maximize your levels. Yeah. But they have chosen to uh, go go and help their centaur because he. I don't know if he needs the help, but I, I guess he kind of needs it because he is uh, he died just now and when, after the Oracle comes back, quite difficult for him to lane because he could die easily to that. Yeah, the troll's starting to get bullied a little bit. He's CSing and farming yeah, I well, but... I don't like what's happening now for IGV, what they're doing. I think that the Visage should still sit bottom and just maximize your leveling and just let Ki Sand King do whatever you can. And if in the case where the Centaur cannot go out to the lane at all, he just has to go to the jungle. Yeah. Definitely know from... Yeah, playing the visage. What, what, what's you do really want what's to just get that now level six. Not good for them. They're just sitting around. Like they, they went top. They didn't get the kill. Now they're just sitting around the top river. Yeah. It really doesn't feel like and their supports are being effective. And they're being scouted above all else. This dire ward sees them just sitting at this mid lane. This should be a big tell if you are IGB right now. You're the carry. You're reporting. Top hey. lane. They've dived in. They've got the kill on the centaur. The return kill is not going to be there. Super TP's in, but I think you can really do to change the fates of that gang. Yeah. You're like the carry and you're telling your team, hey this clockwork is like look at the clockwork, he's like not afraid at all. Just keeps running at Paparazzi. Something is wrong, like I think they see both of you. That's yeah. a huge tell. Paparazzi hasn't be has been good with his positioning so he doesn't get caught inside the cogs in the back. Oh he might be in trouble now. Lina is one creep away from level six. They might not even need the Laguna for this kill. Let's see. Can they get the initiation? Oh, Trying to lead with the LSA. Doesn't actually get it. Sam H can't get in range for the battery yeah, assault yeah. today. Troll is a very fast hero. Yeah. Cuckoo started casting the LSA. Oh, we'll take a back look back at top lane as it looks like they will get the kill in 1437. But yeah, he started casting LSA. I think he realized or was uh, thought he was going to miss it, so he stopped casting it. And unfortunately, Clockwork had already started running in. So it looked like he had said, go, go. And then I was like, no, no, don't. But already committed. I think if he, land, if he landed a stun they might not even have uh, the, the call might not even have enough time okay yes. the charge the route too fast not gonna be enough did not channel up that one puck actually tp'd in so at least they get a tp rotation definitely not an 
Mm, can easy they kill the Lina here? Uh, no. Old misses, so... Do not believe so. Still good pressure by TNC, then the Lina TP's to mid. So I think this is like a very small thing, because the Puck TP's bottom, he can't do anything and then the Lina goes back mid to farm. So yep. yeah, it's okay. A small victory for the Lina. I mean, not too much of a big deal. So right now, they need to... Oh, okay. They still get paparazzi. They yeah. got caught in there still by the... Turns the out they did leave the Fortress <laughs> and into the Cogwood running in with Cogs. And okay. yeah, Cuckoo, meanwhile, mid lane gonna get going on here. There, What's the Dream Call use? He's gonna turn and throw a stun, hits the puck. Uh, he's fine. And, and this Visage fine. is so act like... So active on the map, like too, a bit of too, too much of activity. He should be concerned about his levels. It's eight, eight minutes into the game. He is still around level four. Another kill top. With Sven popping an ultimate. Looks like Sanking. Getting a bit too aggressive there with his rotations. And definitely agree with you. It just feels like they're too all in on these early rotations. I mean, they, the I don't IGG even feel they need to do it though. Yeah, their lanes were, were solid, you know? Trolls farming, Puck was doing Everyone okay. was doing fine. It's not like someone is like, oh sh... It, it sets the trouble. Visage back. He can just be pulling, he and can just be sitting bottom lane, this bottom. is trouble again. Sam H has the hookshot, will land it. Traps the Troll Warlord inside. There is a follow-up stun in the form of an Impaled Troll. Is trying to just turn and it's fight and tanky, go on the yeah. Clockwork. And yeah, with his survivability and the Magic Wand, he will survive through this. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to start healing up from the Purifying oh, Flames. Oh, they're going to get the Oracle. Does appear that way, unless a Cogs can perhaps bail him out. Paparazzi yeah, he's has no slow available, but Dogfight oh, will get him to the Cogs is not going to be there, goes for the Battery Assault instead. Huh, that is strange. I think the Cogs might have had a better chance of saving him. Yeah. He he could have pushed back the other two guys, but I think maybe he was trying to kill, trying to want to turn and kill. Because Battery Assault is the damage. So he wasn't thinking, of, he wasn't just thinking about saving the guy, he just wants to kill them back. Yep. Well, things will settle down here. Yep, not a big deal I in mean, losing uh, position 5. Support the uh, end of the world for them. Everyone else is... Actually, the Lina is not doing too good, okay? She's now, now I look at the net worth. She's yeah, not, not doing all too great. We spent a lot of time... I mean, similar to like the Visage, Lina went bottom and didn't connect on the yeah, rotation both, twice in a row. Both teams were trying to pressure the opposing safe lane a lot. Yeah. Like for TNC, they see, oh, Vitality are sending both of their supports to our safe lane. So it means the troll might be vulnerable. So Lina gets a rune, tries to you know, go down there and try to get a kill, stays there for one minute, and then goes down again a second time. Now we're looking at Ancient Sack. So Clockwork is going to try and stack this, but there's an Observer Ward there. Meanwhile, the other Ancients have been triple stacked, so Sven does have some jungle farm to fall back to. And it looks like he's going to leave the safe lane to 1437 to get his level 6 on Oracle. This rune is going to be quite crucial. Haste rune for Lina. Ooh. Juicy. They, don't, they know the troll went for jungle, but they have no vision around this area of the jungle right now. The ones, uh, the side that's nearer to the mid lane. But they know he's around here. Because they saw him walk past the, the other ward towards the jungle. Ooh. They smoke up, but they don't bring the troll. I'm not sure if that was potential. It does look like he was just heading there to farm. So Stampede available. They smoke up the Santo and the Puck. With and Puck has the ward. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. I'm like, usually the smokes with the support to do the warding. So they scout out the stack here for the Sven. Good news and, Sven. And Sven, Sven was also missing for some time because yeah. they saw the Oracle in the lane. So yeah. I think that's still a good read by IG Vitality. They realized that the Sven might be jungling somewhere or, you know. Okay, now they see him. Yep. Better read by look, Raven. Look, look. He 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 realizes it's not safe in his jungle. Oh, career. Yeah. Okay, that's um that's quite good. It's quite a good amount of quality. Yeah. Fourteen thirty-seven has got the Fates Edict that'll block some of this damage, but not enough of it. As they do bring him down. Meanwhile, mid lane. This is going to tempt Tim's to go in, and with Cuckoo rotating, they'll get the return kill on the Sand King. So pretty even trade in kills, but. Vitality would come out ahead because they got the courier. That is true. That's quite a quite a big deal. A lot of gold for the team. But you know, look at uh, looking at their wards, they have a very clear. They have a very clear idea on how to play. Okay, Centaur got got hope by Sam H here. So he's gonna go down. Oh. Gets out of the cogs and the impale oh, comes a little bit too, too late. late. Yeah. That was too late. Tim's thought he had more time before the cogs were gonna die. The thing is, like when you kill the cogs, you just run towards any of the... you just try to click out and then you get hit by the... then you're just out. Yep. 
so uh, just not enough time there for teams to. I mean, he had enough time, but he just did it too, too long. Yeah. But IG Vitality clearly very focused on making sure the Sven is scouted every time they do. They are doing the the ancients, and in fact, both the camp or one of the camps are blocked. This camp is blocked. Yep. The vision on the the the, ca the camp nearer to the bottom lane is blocked. The one on the left side is not, but they have vision over that area. They're gonna try to contest it. They Sven can. is still farming very well, even with some of his camps blocked out, but. Just need to be careful as there is a couple of heroes down bottom, Stampede available. They're gonna try to set up something here. Ooh, they need the they need a third hero, yeah. yeah they let's need say a he's 1500 health with God Strength available. Yeah, not an easy kill. Definitely not an easy kill. But they realize something might be <clears throat> might be going down here. I don't Nyx is showing mid. This is perhaps a bit too much info mm, to give for TNC. The Watch saw the clockwork walking bottom. Yeah. Here is in July. He's going to pop his nose out. Do they go for this Ooh, kill? This is stun. dangerous. Going to lead things off. The LSA to follow up there. It's going to be some birds to cancel the Lena's combo, but they do still trap him in place. The clockwork ensuring they get the kill. Top lane, Theban needs out, but he is stuck up here. They may not actually know where he is. Now they will, as he does channel the fortunes and roots up the troll wall. Lord Raven won't get there in time for a follow up stun. So, right now, because they saw the TPs. They can pressure the other lane. Yeah, pressure the bot lane. bottom and mid, perhaps. Yeah, Tro goes mid to farm. It's good for them. Cuckoo, just trying to sandstorm his way to a blink, stag blink dagger. Uh, they have a sentry here, so yeah, he'll be fine against the Nyx. Yeah. Well, IGV want to pressure bottom, and TNC will make the same play to some extent at top, but with Troll still up there, not an easy lane to be pressuring. So because of what they did, uh, looking at the net worth, uh, it's actually in the end it was quite okay for them. The s the net worth of the park and the troll still relatively high. Yeah, and Lena is still not really in a good spot. So it'll come down to the team fights now because right now Vitality has their level six on both uh, both of their uh, supports have their ultimates up. The big thing is getting uh, Sand King's Blink Dagger, which he's at 2.1k. Centaur, yeah, Centaur, oh yeah, and Centaur. Sand King is going to get it yeah. faster, yeah, yeah, because he they went do. for a hood. Yeah, no, they don't necessarily need the Centaurs to make moves if they have Sand Kings. They just need one or the other. Pucks perhaps as well. They're going to have two of their three blinks, which oh, mid lane. good. That's a day troll. Yep. Got to respect this Samage Clockwork rotating around. Perhaps thought it was safe mm, with the Observer. Because he, yeah, he had vision there, so he thought he was safe. That's why he was farming. Like, sometimes all this vision can be deceiving, but yeah. in July here, he got caught by the Nyx. Nyx. No sentry there. Yeah. This and is where Sam H and, and uh, the Nyx can start finding yeah. these pickoffs. And it's going to be the Sven and the Lina shopping out the lanes, make, uh, forcing IGV to react to that lane pressure. Ooh, a five stack of Ancients, that is juicy. But even if they see it, they can't really steal it with their hero. Unless, I mean, they can only do like a kill. Like, let's say Sven gets like a bit low, yeah. half HP, then they make a smoke. They kill. They're, they're looking to make a smoke now. They've got blinks. They pop down the sentry to make sure there's no observer ward. Good play. Yep. You never really know if someone got in deep just <laughs> with a smoke planet. That well, their Sven is okay. right there. Okay. Doesn't have ultimate. I don't know if he's actually going to try and farm this now without the ulti. I feel like that would he be. He was just trying to. What was he trying to? I think he maybe just misaggred it or just suddenly decided wanted to go for it. I was like, wait uh, a second, it's not safe. Oracle is there. But, uh, they have to. They know the Oracle is there. They saw him. Yeah. I think they, they they are not sure if they want to go for this kill because <laughs> Oracle is nearby. Yeah. I think if they wants to farm that ancient stack, he needs like at least two or three teammates. Okay, they have right the whole team him. here. They have the whole team. Oh, they're scanning. They want to get on the oracle. They get the dream call. The two men stun. Oh Barra strike. Perfect. Wolf stop as well. Great play from IG Vitality to get that Perfect. initiation. Perfect. Ten out of ten. And Tim's trying to top set up lane. top lane. Yep. The Lena will TP on in. The impale will miss though. Yeah. Tro is very very fast. Not easy to just uh, land your Vendetta hit and stun after that on a fast hero. Oh, they're gonna try to steal wow, this. Wow. This is. Bold. Can they? I don't. No, I didn't think so, but perhaps... The Look at that, true, he's dying! Yeah, no, he's, he's gonna die very fast with that master. they got damage. like half of, like all the small creeps. Yeah, they got all the little... Because they actually take magic damage, the little baby black dragons. Ah, uh, still, it's still okay, as long as the big creeps are still... Yeah, they're killing still, one or two big creeps with the That's like what, 30% of the stack. Yeah, they got what, it was six little baby dragons and then... That's still one still the blue actually. Yeah, it was it was close to like 250 the, gold. The 30 to 40% of the stack. Yeah. yeah. 30% maybe. 
still good good damage now. Like every bit counts for the Sven because Sven is like a very timing based uh, carry. You play on your dagger, muscle manners, like sometimes you have echo saber, BKB timing. You hit th those items fast and you go for fights. So anything you can do to slow that down is very significant for your team. Here comes Tims to the top lane. Will not find in July Centaur. Ooh, clockwork. Big. Can he get the hook? Centaur is very close yeah, to his he's dagger. Got the ward. He should be able to land it if he wants to, but he does not go for the hook. Yeah, too far away. So Santa's gonna be able to get his dagger. Uh, it should be triple daggers up right now yeah, for IG Vitality. Very strong right now. And for T and C, um, looking at their items, so Bloodstone almost done on the D9. He'll go for he's he going Shadow, Shadow Blade, Blade first. first yeah. oh, okay. Gets the Shadow Amulet. Shadow Blade first, yeah, because he realized like someone needs. They are lacking. They're not really like, lacking initiation. <laughs> They've got uh, no, mix. They're lacking like the. Uh, they need to make like plays because right now like Vitality is gonna play as five. Anything you can do to catch, like the Shadow Blade will help him catch. Even though they have the Nyx and the the Clockwork, but he has to the Lina has to join those two because they, they can't really kill alone. So the Shadow Blade is gonna allow him to get more openings with them or even start fights because now he can Shadow Blade and start with the stun, which could be very useful for his team and get pick off. Because their aim of the game right now, objective-wise, is to stall, wait for their BKB, get pick off if they can, and try to avoid like full-scale fights, like 5 against 5. Yep. They want to avoid that. Cuckoo does reveal his Shadow Blade to a Raiden Observer Ward, so that is something I do vitality. Yeah, their, their, their warding has been like, about. quite good this game. Very yeah. useful. Super getting caught out here, no sentry, just trying to farm the jungle. But in a very, well, he was farming in a very <laughs> aggressive position, like a very far up spot, and gonna lose his. Uh, just okay. one of it. Just one. But still, like, uh. Dice, I think, not good for them right now. That oh, big another pick. Get. Yeah. The Centaur Shadow Blade. Stampeded over, but wasn't there in time, and the return kill is not gonna be there. Cuckoo has a regen rune. And look to turn around, but can't actually start right clicking the Centaur, or you will lose that regeneration. Yeah, they have to be more careful about giving all these like picks, you know, they they want to stick as 5 to play right now because they have their triple daggers, they should not be split up. I think maybe the thing you want to do, if you send the puck to shove the lanes, but the rest okay. of the team should be close to each other. Well, this is why they were shoving those lanes kind of alone, because Paparazzi is actually solid. Right? Yes. Still, like, the, yeah, the puck, yeah. puck dying and the Visage dying bot is like... It's definitely not good. I think they could have gotten the Roche regardless because they are already sh at a point where they're strong as five, and TNC is still at the stage where we still need items to fight. We are not ready. Yeah. I mean, regardless, uh, they got the Roche, like you said. Uh, Show has uh, SNY and Mars of Madness building. His strong timing, of course, is like the Sven getting the PKB. Stack, stack, stack. Say TNC. They stack all three of their camps as the Sven continues. To Look to farm towards his BKB. Okay, so key items to look out for right now. I think as a centaur, I guess getting four stuff agonims should be the build this game. Like those are the items that you need think, for them to, because they are they are gonna have to rely on uh, the axe to in the fights to survive. Like the Sven jumps in, say the situation. Sven jumps in, they try to uh, assassinate someone with the Lina. Yeah. Then you pop the Agonings ulti, you, you make sure that guy survives, and that's how you're gonna be able to turn the fight around. So those kind of items would be good for him. Like the Puck maybe at some point, I think the Agonims. Agonims would be good against the Sven, because you want to keep him in spot, in, in one place. Yep. Oh, here comes Nyx. He scouts out the Sand Ooh. King, the Double Blinkers, the Sand King and the Centaur. Will he look to set up off of this? Looks like for now they use the info sure just to they can up. fight though, Parker. Yeah, they're taking mid for Lina. They do not want to fight into the Aegis. Yeah. Seems Sven, decent. Sven just this got his one. BKB though. They might be thinking of fighting. Okay. Sven just bought his BKB. I don't, they may be I don't up think here. Vitality knows about this. Yep. Not sure. Tims has such good info. He needs to not walk into the center though. And the problem is to initiate, he's going to have to. I'm sure he realizes there is a sentry in lane. The team will not push a tower oh, like might, just they saw. might be I assume there might be a sentry around. Yeah, it's one of those things where like they're not going to push without a sentry. Clockwork gets some vision with the rocket. Oh, they're players. chasing. They, they, they see the puck TPing. Oh, this is bad for them. They have to get out. IG has to get out. Oh, Tims gets the impale as the Sankin goes away. He does not get... Oh, he does get the Carapace off. He stuns two with the Carapace. The Stampede on out. IG Vitality do not have their puck. Oh, he's Oh, he there. came he's back. There. Oh, sorry. Boots have traveled in. So he has managed to arrive to the party now. 
Raven BKB down. Chest forward, and yeah, no BKB means he is being kited badly. We'll just farm up the familiars, actually. Gets himself a nice little bit of gold. IG Vitality gonna lose the central to the side, and they are just not doing any significant damage just yet. Paparazzi trying to chase with the ages, but... Only gonna get the one kill for his team, and it's the Sven chopping through them. Yep, BKB timing, boys, and the Aegis carrier getting ignored in the fights. <laughs> Rooted, he won't be ignored any longer. He is one versus four without BKB. Here comes to Epicenter. Oh! Okay. Big one! He's gonna look to turn this one around, and they lose the Aegis. Can they go back in with the Shrine? It looks like they might be able to. Paparazzi's confident. Great to Rooted's done. I'm not just gonna sure if they can the fight cogs. though. Yeah, they don't have the Lina and Sven. Those are the two big heroes. So in the end, it was uh, Aegis and what three heroes. It was the, uh, it's not that bad though, if you think about it. They got the Lina and the Sven. If uh, it was great for TNC until perhaps they lost that Sven at the end. Yeah. They got a bit too overconfident chasing yeah, that, was that a kill. Big, Sanking big epi. respawned with Epicenter. Yeah. Oh, so it was actually four heroes dead. Was it? <laughs> on uh, IGV side? Yeah. Yeah, they lost everyone um, and the Aegis, so they kind of lost five in some ways, but they didn't actually lose much. In the end, it turned out okay because they got the Sven and the Lina. Yeah. It was like, what, five for three? Or just Sven, five for Lina? Two. Just five for two, yeah. So, yeah. Maybe not, sure. maybe not so okay. <laughs> it, was, it was quite close though because yeah. they got the Sven in the end. Sven was a very, very big kill. And Tro did not die. I mean, he lost Aegis, that's yeah. it. So Sven does use his 10 second BKB as well. Yeah, next fight, Tro is going to have BKB. So the tables are going to turn around to the Tro being very strong now. Oh. Ballsy blink stun from Raven. Puck had no time to oh, react. I hear a hook shot. It, it hit not what it was supposed to hit. Tim's and Cuckoo on the nearby. Nice LSA going to go in the Sanking instead. To carapace it up, but dogfight is gonna whoop, gets away initially, but the Stormhammer will finish him off. Raven. Oh yeah, not good, not good. They're gonna lose this tower now. Raven's playing some aggressive Dota with this Sven. Yeah, the ward there. Uh they had a previously they had a high ground ward here. That's why they were able to pick the they both of the Sanky and the Park they died in the same area because of the ward. Vision wins games, vision yeah. leads to victory. And objective and for TNC, tier 2 tower. Roche is going to take a while, so that won't be a rush for TNC to claim. Four stuff going to be done by Centaur. So right now, vision-wise, IG by Teddy probably needs some. Uh, they need some aggressive vision, and probably Nyx is, the Nyx need a jam, is, uh, Yeah, that's Shadow Blade, say, Shadow Blade and the Nyx is just giving too much information to by uh, to TNC. Yep, that was the bottom fight, largely set up by the Nyx's scouting and vision, and also. Ooh. Okay, so actually part. blinks yeah. in. Tim's was like looking to go on him. He procs the uh, carapace off of the return. Yeah, of extra very, stun. very hard for Santo to play against the Nyx. You know, even when you you stampede your team and then he just carapace and your teammates will get stunned too. It's like oh, so no. annoying. Yeah, it's a very, saw that last very big when counter. The, he got the Sanking as he borrowed in, he popped the Carapace, and Sentol blinked stunned, and like Sentol got stunned. He stampede as well, stunned. so everyone got stunned. Yeah, it was just. An awful situation with the disable and control from TNC in that last fight really limited IG's vitality. Yeah, he needs to be very careful of how you use your ultimate, your stampede against the Nyx. You just need to be very careful with it. Well, that's where they really want to be, like, having a gem and, if anything, perhaps initiating on that Nyx. Just jumping him, catching him before he can carapace. Probably the gem on the park, because when you... Of course, when you're playing park against Nyx, when you go to the lane and you don't see the Nyx, you're spamming out. You're always very scared that there might be a Nyx there. Carapazing your your orb, your illusionary orb, and then stun after that, then Lina is around the neighborhood and you're just dead. Yep. So I think, I think the gem should be on the pub. Here go IG Vitality. They want to smoke up rather than... I think the big issue as well with that bottom push is they just showed themselves and just tried to kind of brute force their way down the yeah, line. They, they think they were safe though with the sentry ahead, but they didn't realize that Nyx already scouted things out earlier and he was behind. Here they go with the BKB they timing. See the they see Lina, they were pinging. Oh. In the enemy jungle, oh, Lina. Oh, they're gonna find him probably. It's gonna be close, has got the Shadow Blade. Yeah, they're gonna Looks find Looks like him. they saw her, but she is very fast and is gonna Shadow Blade away. The scan is. Yeah, Dogfight's plays a uh, deep ward here. So. Cuckoo's actually perhaps going for the skill on Puck. Yeah, he's trying to kill Puck. He was actually trying to kill him. He's, I think, realized by now that it is no longer safe and keeping himself out of there. Oh. Nyx is going to pop this one. Oh, again, there. information. 
I don't think he, I think the smoke could one off. Yeah, already one off. They 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 don't know there's a Nyx here. Yeah. Gosh, so TNC are just gonna split the other two lanes because they see so many heroes here. Have got sentries, and this is where if you're a Nyx, you're clicking all these heroes like, okay, Visage has two sentries. They immediately ping because he he saw the Visage use the sentries. Oh, so they're gonna take the fight. They wanna take the fight. Yeah. Tim's knows where the sentry is. He also knows Jeez, he is seeing everything. There's no sentry here. Oh my god. This is such a good uh, scouting. Oh, oh, now they do they see, see him. They see him. Okay, he's getting chain stunned up here. Will he get the carapace off? Won't get a chance to against the troll with BKBs. Paparazzi just going to BKB TP on out. It is full retreat for okay. IGV. Good, good call there by IGV. Otherwise, they are going to get destroyed there because they were very split up. They do some familiars here. It does look like they'll get over back to the trees. So. so, I think all in all, it was kind of a victory for TNC because they... Yeah. Pop, what was it? A 10 second BKB? Yeah, it was. 10 second BKB down. Um, should be a free tower for TNC. Roshan up in a bit. So that's going to be their next important fight. I think both teams are going to focus on taking over this area. So currently, Vitality has like two, like this two wards. I mean, this ward doesn't help too much. Okay, this one helps for the Roshan fight. That's going to be our next big battle here around the Rosh pit. Hook shot. Bottom line, yep. He oh. gets it. Lena leading the initiation and Clockwork following it up. The pickoffs just keep on happening. TNC have just been they so They don't good. have a gem though. They need a gem. They need a gem on the puck. Yeah, the puck though, speaking of which, gets found out by a Nyx. Now oh, he's just gonna cox. Okay. He's gonna get there. Sand King helps bail him out. Lena though is still chasing Cicada. Ooh, blinks away from the LSA. But their Sand King will not be so fortunate. Oh, too many pickoffs, like the whole game they were giving away a lot of pickoffs. Dio did lose their courier somewhere in the mix of that. Radiant will put down an observer get some vision for themselves. Wait, this could be Rex actually. Yeah, but neither hero has They have a lot back. of damage. Sven's ultimate still has a couple of seconds left on it. It'll be at least oh, a tower. Sentinel gonna go in. Just try and nah, this delay is things, They can't defend but... 20 seconds. It's too long. <gasps> oh, he gets the carapace oh. into the cogs. Okay, he does get into the face shift. That should be enough to save his life. So Kado is also all born out of there. He gets brought down. Oh boy. That is... That went from bad to worse. Yeah. Big kill. They may just turn and take this fight here. Tim's going to get the carapace on the Visage. Lena's there as well. The Gravekeeper's Cloak helping make this Visage fairly tanky. see TNC go away unscathed, leaving significant damage to the IG Vitality high ground. Visage buying a gem. This has really been their undoing. The Invis scouting and initiation of mostly the Nyx, but to a lesser extent even the Lina. Lina, I think, also did quite a lot of scouting earlier. I mean, kills, actually. <laughs> yeah, she was killing, whereas Nyx was just scouting everyone. And when Nyx scouts everyone, he know he can tell his team, well, go push the these gem? other lanes. Where's the gem? Visage bought it. I don't know where it is just yet. It's on the Centaur. Centaur does go in, but unfortunately for him, the Sand King's already gone down. Tim's may pay with this with life, but the Oracle is there to help him out. And this is actually looking like Nick should be just fine. He is going to be healing up. And he should be Gucci. Yeah, yeah. He's good. You know, we've got the Golden Sun. I think that means he's healing. <laughs> okay. I, I still don't know how Oracle spells work, Winter. It's, it's 2017. I'm casting my 6 TI. Don't know how Oracle works. You know, the hero, you push buttons and you hope for the best. That's that's my understanding. I'm sure you know how the hero works, but you just don't know whether the false promise is going to heal sure. or save the guy. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for bailing <laughs> me out. You're right. I, I know exactly what these spells <laughs> do. The, you know, the fortunes end and the fates, the fates, the fates end and the, the fortunes edict. The yeah. purifying fire. Yeah. <laughs> the purifying <laughs> promise. <laughs> you know, some great spells. It's a great hero. Need more heroes okay. out there. It's easy to understand gem his not, oracle. Uh, the puck is not having the gem. He's probably oh. going. To, okay, no. Okay, the Tim's, cap, Tim's cap didn't for hit. It. He's gonna find him TPing though. That's perhaps a <gasps> bigger problem. Oh, he is. Cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, why does he ha not have the gem? Where's the gem? Where's it's, the gem? It was on center. Yeah. I think the puck should have the gem though, because this is gonna happen to the puck. The Nyx is gonna look for the puck. Because the Pug is going to be the main guy doing all the pushing out. I Puck mean, the Centaur can do it, uh, does does not. I have. know, that's what I'm saying. It's more like they, they obviously, Puck has an item slot for it, but for some reason it's been given the, the dust instead of the They're jam. not playing. Oh, I don't know. They, they right now, they need to just get themselves together. They can't afford any slip ups anymore. They need to play as a team and get the Roach up, take the fight. I don't. They realize the Roach is happening, they scouted yeah. it out. 
Um, damn, I think I'm probably if they need to. Yeah, TNC just say, uh, let's not even bother. The the familiars are really annoying to roach against. They can just hide above the trees yeah. on the cliff line and just okay. stun you. So they need to go back mid, shuffle out the lane, and then figure out what they can do. Well, they have a... is uh, fishing for kills. They have a... Do they have a smoke? Yeah, they have a smoke. Okay. They need to push this lane out and maybe make a smoke play. On the IGV side? Yeah, on yeah. IGV. They have to group up. They cannot afford any more pickoffs. Like, one more pickoff, the Roche is gone. Yep. And that should spell another, probably another lane of Rex if they lose. Looking for the courier again, the familiars. Leave the culprit of that previous curious night. Oh. oh. Okay, that was worth. That was worth. Of course, yeah, that's sure to go. <laughs> oh, God. He did I, I, I'm going to do that next time if I see. <laughs> yeah, you see those familiars ratting. Oh, that feels good. Uh, is that on cooldown? Oh, oh no, he has, he has, he has another reset. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was on cooldown. That that would be really bad for them. TNC themselves oh, TNC smoking. smoking. Up. Yep. Um, they have the Shivas up. Oh, okay, this is big item on Cuckoo. Dire scan. They see no one's up there, so. Sven has AC at 3k. So they have both the armor items, Shiva AC, they are very strong as a unit. They're run right into IG Vitality Super, you're in a terrible spot my friend. Trying to force up on out, but does get forced off a second time and back to safety. TNC, do not want to chase, not into the big team fight of heroes like Sand King and if, if they can find the opening, it's still very possible for Vitality to get a good initiate, destroy one hero, like you want to kill the Oracle, you basically want to kill that guy first. You kill that guy, then you figure out how to kill the rest. Yeah. If you don't kill that guy, then you can't kill the rest. For TNT, a hero like this is just who you don't want to go on. But one of the tanky heroes because of the cloak, and not a hero that's going to win a team fight like a, a Centaur or a Sand King. Yeah, you want to kill puff. the Sand King or Ooh, Centaur. Here come IGV, they smoked up. Where is the gem? Okay, they see him. Okay, they see him. He gets the carapace off though. Oh, he stuns up three. Tim's. There could be some trouble, but there's going to be a false promise to bail him out to the south. It was the Sand King going down. Centaur dead as well. And Nyx is going to be just fine, I believe. He is healing up, and Sven tearing through them, chasing down Paparazzi. There's no blink available on Troll. There is one available on Raven. He'll have it stun in a second. He gets it as he forces over, and four dead. IGV, GG out. That was their yep. last hurrah. They did not go on the. They didn't able to find the Oracle first, so just like easy, pretty straightforward. They saved the target who. The Santa jumped on, they got the false promise of Tim's MVP, they stun, I feel. Stun three heroes. Yeah, I think. The Knicks. Fair, fair one. He fair. died zero times against a team with gem, sentries, dust. Yeah, but I, I, I think impressive. IGV, they played the game in a very weird manner. I think it was not good for them to play the game like this. First, I, I, I talk a lot about their early movements where they chose to help the Santa a lot instead of focusing on. I think their lineup is actually fairly solid. They didn't choose to focus on the leveling of the Visage. I think Sand King should be the only one to move early and then wait for a really good opportunity to move and kill the Lina maybe at night time. Maybe four or five minutes. Yeah. First smoke was too early. Vision. And then they kind of sat around not doing a whole the lot. The wards, uh, there was, they were okay. They had two very uh, good awards early where they warded both the Ancients because they were up against the Sven and they were able to like steal some of the Ancients. Uh, so I think... They were what, pretty what even for most of the yeah, early Yeah, warding part and farming on the troll. Puck, troll and Puck, they were leading in the early game. Puck does not end the game with a very high impact. It's, One, it's six, like three. the movement. The movement there was like something like wrong with the movement with uh, who pushing out what lane and who is showing on the map. Item, I think item wise, uh, it's just mainly the gem. I don't think anyone else could have bought. Right? I'm just maybe just uh, if you really want to talk about the item, maybe just about the Santa not wanting to go for eggs. He went for Halbert. He was trying to battle Halbert. He didn't get okay. it. But yeah, ultimately, but, but ultimately the, it's the, the movement, movement. Is, yeah, and yeah, who big... farming what lane, pushing out, how they are pushing out, the gem is not on the park, and he got caught like twice, three times. Too many, yeah, too many pickoffs. Right. They gave away too many pickoffs when they were really strong with the triple daggers at one point, the Sand King, Puck, and Centaur. And that led to like, uh, I mean, they still got the first Roshan, but then the second Roshan they did not get because they were... They were quite far behind because of all the small pickoffs here and there. And then Nick's scouting them out, cru the crucial bottom fight where the troll had Aegis, but he was the last person to die, yep. so it didn't matter. Okay, and that does it. Game 1, we're going to take a bit of a quick break, guys, and be back with Game 2 of TNC vs. IG.